What's good, YouTube? My name is Demetrius B. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about box truck owner operation, um, doing loads for Amazon. I'm actually about to go do a, a load for Amazon right now. So I'm going to take you guys along with me, show you the process, how it works. And um, yeah, got a real quick run right now that we're about to do. It's only 20 miles, about 30 miles of deadhead. Um, but uh, we're going to go do that load right now, show you how much it's paying how much money you can make. We'll talk about that later on in this video. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, currently we're headed over my father's house, that is where the truck is parked. Um, I've already called him, he's got it warmed up right now. It's currently, I believe, around 12.15. Our pickup for the night is at 1.30 in the morning. Um, we're headed over to the East Point location to pick up our load and then we are going to go 21 miles to Lithia Springs um, so yeah as soon as I get to his house I'm going to start recording again and do our pre-trip inspection really quickly make sure we got everything set up on our ELD and uh, we're going to hit the road alright y'all it's about to do our pre-trip real quick Check the tires. I'm gonna hit the road. We are here currently at the Amazon location. Just currently waiting to get checked in. About to go pick up this load real quick. So yeah, this is kind of what it looks like when you're checking in, you just get in line. And then um, when you get up to the guard check, which is right there, you give them the uh, load ID that point they assign you to a door you pull up to said door back into it and then at that point you have to walk into the building through the driver's lounge um, and uh, see an associate and they check you in you grab your load put it on your truck um, you do have to load it yourself here at Amazon you also have to unload it as well so you have to have a pallet jack, you know, potentially some load bars, potentially some straps to make sure that the cargo is secured. Um, and then once you get the cargo secured, you check out and you're good to go at that point. So, uh, yeah, oh, here comes my dad right now. He needs his vest, so. 
you go, my man. Love you too, Dad. But yeah, that's what we're about to go do. Um, as soon as I get loaded, we get back in the truck. I will um, start at it again. So see you when we're done getting loaded up. All right, so we're about to go load up right now. We just got booked for another load at three o'clock. So we got to try to do this very quickly. Um, so yeah, well, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But we got to go and um, drop this load off really quickly and get back to this facility. So we can pick up our next load and drop it off. We're going to Cleveland, Tennessee. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on guys. I'll see you when we get loaded. guys we just dropped off here at this post office um, currently we are in where are we at right now Dalton Georgia so we just dropped off at this post office about to head to our next stop so yep see you guys at the next stop all right y'all we're headed to our last stop in Cleveland Tennessee last drop we only have um, pallet and like uh, three boxes to drop off so it should be real quick in and out and we're going to be headed back to Atlanta uh, it's probably going to take us about two hours to get home Maybe about two hours and ten minutes once we uh oh get back on the road dude um once we um get back towards Atlanta once everything is settled down, uh, we'll, we'll do a recap and go over some of the numbers. Um, I kind of ran them a little bit while uh, my dad has been driving. and So we'll, we'll do a recap of the two trips that we've done, go over the numbers, so you guys can see, you know, potentially how much you can make um, in, uh, in a night doing Amazon. Now, the results really do vary. It depends on your performance score, which I'll also talk about in the recap as well. Depends on your performance score, where you're located in the country. We're in Atlanta, so you know it's a really, really, really big freight hub. Tons of um, Amazon facilities around Atlanta. 
So we, we have some pretty good rates here for the most part. And you know it's peak season right now as well. So yep, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I will see you guys in the recap. YouTube, this the recap. Let's get into it. So we did two trips, right? Two trips. And excuse me just a moment while I find it on my computer. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and post a screenshot now so you guys can see. All right, now that you've seen the first screenshot, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna go over the first trip. First trip was $328. Um, on the actual uh, trip itself, it says that it was 21 miles of driving, but in actuality, it was only 12 miles. So um, I did the numbers for that, and it is $328 for 12 miles. Um, that trip was $27 per mile, $27 per mile. Um, that was the first trip we did after we dropped off there. Um, you guys saw a little bit of that footage. We went back to the East Point facility, picked up again. Um, we had two stops, one in Georgia, um, one in Georgia and another in Tennessee. Um, and for that trip we did, let me look and see. Uh, 125 miles for $592 and 28 cents. Um, rate per mile was $4 and 73 cents. Um, so the total that we made this night was $920 and 32 cents. Um, so now I'm going to go over the mileage. Total miles driven. We had 30 miles of deadhead there, 12 miles to the first stop. 12 miles back to the facility to pick up again. And then we did 125 miles, 125.2 miles. Um, and then we had to deadhead back to the house um, because that was the, the end of our night. So total miles driven, 309 miles. So a little over 300 miles um, driven. We made $920.32 um, for a rate per mile of two dollars and 97 cents for all miles including deadhead everything included it was a great night um again this is uh, the, the recap that i'm doing right now is a little uh maybe a couple weeks after these particular uh loads were done so peak season is starting to end now um so we have been seeing things slow down just a little bit but i mean hey this this is uh you know that night was great um, and that whole week pretty much was great. Um, so I'll, I'll do another video after this one and explain pretty much how that week went. Um, just to say like how much we made, um, we made $6,000 that week. So if you guys wanna know how that week went, I will cover that whole week um, in another video. And um, so let me know in the comment section below what questions you guys have and uh, any information that you guys wanna know. Um, uh, I'll answer it. Thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for more content coming soon. I'm going to be dropping a lot of gems on how you can get started in this business and, um, you know, because everybody can eat from this. So this, this is the type of business where it, it usually doesn't slow down too much to where it's not feasible. So um, again, I'm, I'm going to drop a lot of gems in the next video is coming up. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.